Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, what's going down here with the 3900 swap. I was uh, working out a solution for the oil filter location on the LZ9 here and uh, it looks like I'm just going to go with a factory uh, setup here. Uh, what I wanted to do was figure out a way to put a remote oil filter on there but um, instead I'm just going to I think I'm just going to go with this setup. Uh, what I'm using here is the factory LZ9 uh, oil adapter here. And I ended up using a PF61 oil filter. It's not even going to focus on that. But uh, it's a PF61. And you can see here that I've got, I don't know how much clearance I've got there. I think I've got about three quarters of an inch or so maybe a half an inch of clearance on the cradle this will spin out it'll spin all the way out and you can take it out um, but uh, this seems to be the easiest way to go I'll show you why I ended up doing it this way okay so if you look here uh, right at the center on 3900 blocks this is uh, not threaded but it's on pretty much every other single much how it's been on every single um, 60 degree V6 engine that I've had but uh, it seems like this L my LZ blocks don't have that now I've been told by other people that theirs is threaded um, maybe I'm just unlucky or something it's not a big deal I mean it, it's an easy solution but um, I'll, I'll show you what I wanted to go with here is my external oil filter adapter and the reason why I can't use this of course is this is threaded here and on my old engines I could just uh, thread this onto here and then I could have my remote oil filter if I wanted and I'd be all set but because that's not threaded and I'm not gonna thread it then uh, you know that kinda rules out this easy solution now there was a, an alternative as well that I that I tried uh, using here which I'll show you and that was to use this piece here, which came off of a 3400 LA1, I believe. Um, might have been out of a Grand Am. But uh, I'll show you the part number here real quick if you wanted to uh, bother looking it up, if you could get it. Um, but it won't work on my application because um, you can see down in here that this is not threaded. And this has the three bolt holes that match the location here on the 3900. But when you actually go to bolt this on... Um, I can't, uh, there's not really much clearance here between the cradle and um, where the uh, oil filter would be. So I could not actually screw a oil filter directly to this. So I thought that maybe I could actually hook up my remote oil housing to that. So there's another solution I thought about doing there. And I can't use this because I can't screw a fitting down in between the cradle assembly here and this fitting and you can't have two 90 degree uh, fittings on here because they'll actually hit each other when you go to tighten them up they interfere so you can't actually use that now another possible solution um, on one of my 3900s I bought it came with this external oil cooler assembly and um, I believe this just goes to an air cooler there's no coolant flowing through here and I thought that maybe you know this would fit on here but it does not this filter this PF61 is too long and it will actually hit the cradle and what I actually did then is some research and I found a PF 46 which is actually I think it's an inch shorter than this one now I haven't tested that to see if that's gonna fit or not but let's go ahead and give it a shot okay and there you go you can actually see that the PF 46 will actually fit between the sandwich adapter and the factory oil adapter housing on here so you could actually use this PF 46 and you've got uh, 
maybe an inch of clearance right there on the uh, cradle assembly. The only issue, of course, is you just don't have a lot of uh, filtering here going on. Um, but technically, it will work. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think these engines are that dirty, or they produce a bunch of, um, you know, dirt or things like that. But uh, you could probably get away with this. You just have uh, less oil capacity, uh, filtering capacity, I should say, um, with a smaller filter. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably use the PF61, skip this for now, and try to come up with an alternative solution um, for, uh, you know, maybe to somehow place the filter in a different location so I can have an oil cooler and a larger oil filter at the same time. So just a quick recap, if you are throwing a LZ9 or an LZ4 in a Fiero, and this piece of yours is not threaded, you can get by with using the factory housing and a PF61 oil filter if you do not use the sandwich adapter here. Uh, if you do insist on getting an oil cooler and you want to use a sandwich adapter, you're going to have to use the PF46. Okay, so moving on up top here, I got some push rods. I measured out my push rods. I ended up doing a 6.25 on the exhaust and a 5.95 on the intake. Now I spoke with um, Mars, maybe some of you know him by Mars, but uh, he also has an LZ in his Camaro. He ended up measuring the exact same push rod length. So I think if you're doing a camshaft, an aftermarket camshaft from Comp Cam, they're all ground on the same base circle, which means if you're going to throw a Comp Cam's camshaft in an LZ4 or LZ9, the LZ series, you can probably get away with running a um, 6.25 on the exhaust and a 5.25. 9.5 on your intake and I would uh, call up Millsy Motorsports if you want to um, uh, get the push rods through them. If you don't want to go through them there are other ways uh, to do it. Um, I would not recommend Wide Open Throttle Tech. Um, just my personal experience with them. He's not very professional and uh, I won't be doing any more business uh, with that uh, individual. So. And moving on here, I got my alternator mount uh, fabricated and hooked up to the engine. And I just mocked up my exhaust manifold and figuring out maybe if I want to put the turbo placement down in this area or build a wipe or build a, a pipe off of this, and uh, which I'll probably end up doing. I'll probably build a pipe off of this and bring my turbo up. And I'm probably going to have to eliminate or at least cut a hole in the trunk to give me room for the turbo. But that's where the 3900 swap stands right now. Uh, it's coming along slowly, but now that I got the push rods in, I can go ahead and complete final assembly with the heads and, uh, you know, the lifters and, and other things like that. Get that installed. Get the modified intake on there, which I will be showing a, a video of that in the uh, future. And uh, But it's coming along. We're getting there, guys. All right, thank you, and stay tuned for more videos.